evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. My dear friend, we love God and we never want to go back to our old ways. We want to stay with God. When God reaches out to us and touches us, He changes our lives forever. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today on another day that God has given us by His grace. It is Sunday and by the grace of God we're going to make it through today. We're going to finish strong and we're going to go into another week strong and we're going to make the most of the week to come my dear friend. This is all by the grace of God. God is so loving and He's a merciful God. He's a gracious God and He's got certain ways that He leads us in my dear friend. As we follow the ways of God we will be blessed. We will shine. We will not be stopped by the devil. We will not be held back, but we will go up from glory to glory. You know, my dear friend, God is so gracious. He's so merciful. He's slow to anger and abounding in love. And my dear friend, even as we seek God and we choose God's way, God blesses us. Now, my dear friend, today is Sunday and on Sunday, we usually pray Sunday deliverance prayers. And today I want to pray for you special prayers so that you'll be delivered from all hate, all anger, all bitterness, all resentment, everything that's basically a result of being attacked by someone else or being hurt or being put in a place where someone has done something wrong to you, my dear friend. You must be set free from all these things. I want to give you some words of advice, my dear friend, and these words of advice may not be the easiest to follow, but as you follow them, you will come out shining. My dear friend, I want to start by telling you that, you know, when someone attacks you, when the devil causes something to happen, where a, a break in a relationship between you and someone else comes, and someone attacks you and they do something bad to you, if you react with anger and resentment and bitterness and offense, then the devil has won. But if you react and you forgive the person, if you react with love and you forgive the person, then you win, my dear friend. I want to tell you something today, my dear friend. All feelings of hate, all feelings of anger, all feelings of bitterness, all feelings of unforgiveness, all feelings of, I need to get this person back. This is what they did to me, therefore I need to get them back. All such feelings must go, my dear friend. And we should allow the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. The way of God is love. Where there's love, God is there. Because love is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit, my dear friend. God loves you with an everlasting love. And in the same way, He wants you to love others. He loves you with unconditional agape love. And in the same way, He wants you to love even those who've hurt you, even those who've offended you, even those who've come up against you, my dear friend. So from today onwards, take my words of advice. If anyone hurts you, don't let it even affect you. Be so close to God, my dear friend, that even when someone offends you or hurts you, it doesn't shake you. It doesn't even trouble you. You simply just immediately forgive them. You let them go and it doesn't affect your day, it doesn't even make you upset, it doesn't even make you angry. When someone rejects us, my dear friend, and treats us badly, we must be at a place where it doesn't even affect us. We continue smooth sailing without even being affected because the grace of God is on our life and the grace of God is sufficient. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. I discern the presence and the power of God so strongly right here in studio. I'm here at the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. And I'm so happy to be with you today, my dear friend, from this place. It is so awesome. The presence of God is in this place. This is also a prayer altar. And I'm so happy to be praying for you from this place. I know like I know like I know, my dear friend, as we pray today, you're going to be set free from every feeling of hurt, pain, wanting to get revenge, Every feeling of being offended with someone else, you'll be set free completely, my dear friend. And God will take you up to a greater glory. In saying that, my dear friend, take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. And as they come down, your life will change for the better. In saying that, my dear friend, let's begin to praise Him. Father, You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. You're the God in whom I trust. I trust in you. I believe in you. I have faith in you. 
Lord, be glorified in my life. Be glorified in my dear friend's life who's watching this video. Lord, let your grace, let your anointing, let the presence of your Holy Spirit be present in the place where my dear friend is watching. Lord, touch and change my dear friend's life for the better. Take my dear friend up to a greater glory in you. I ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, today we praise you. We begin by praising you. We praise you, Lord, because you are worthy of praise. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of glory. You deserve to be lifted up. You are the God who never leaves us. You are the God who never forsakes us. You are the God who is always gracious to us. You are slow to anger and abounding in love towards us. Lord, by your grace, we make it through. Not by our own strength, it's by your grace. Because your word says your grace is sufficient for us. Lord, today as we pray, do something great and miraculous in my dear friend's life. Do this for the glory of King Jesus, our Lord and Savior, your one and only Son, your Son who came and died for us to restore us back to you. Lord, we thank you for the finished work of the cross. We give you praise for this, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the presence and the power of God is here. Right here in studio, I discern the presence of God. And I know like I know that even as you are watching, God is going to touch you. Because God is omnipotent and omnipresent. What does this mean, my dear friend? It means He's here with me as I record and is there with you as you watch. So even as you watch, the presence of God is with you. Now, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. But even as I begin to pray for you, I want to encourage you to do just two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is lift up your hands. And you're lifting up your hands as a sign of surrender. You're saying, God, I surrender to you. And just begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. He is there in that place because He's omnipotent, omnipresent. He is here with me as I record. He's there with you. But He waits for you to welcome Him, my dear friend. So even as you lift up your hands, begin to welcome Him. Say these words with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me, Holy Spirit. Come and change my life. Come and take me up to a greater glory. Come and change my life for the better, Lord. Change my life. Do something new. Do something amazing in my life. I ask this for the glory of King Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The second thing that I want to encourage you to do, my dear friend, is comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God will bless you mightily. In saying that, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will touch and change my dear friend's life. Take my dear friend who's watching this video up to a greater glory. Change my dear friend's life for the better, Lord. Lord, wherever my dear friend who's watching this video has been hurt or offended or has been betrayed or someone has done something that's really troubled my dear friend, Lord, I pray that you will set my dear friend free. Release the grace so that my dear friend who's watching this video, your dear child, would be released from these cages of hurt, pain, anger, bitterness. Lord, today as we pray deliverance prayers, let your dear child who's watching this video be set free completely, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, bring a mighty deliverance in my dear friend's life. Bring a mighty change in my dear friend's life. Bring a mighty change for the better. Not for the bitter, but for the better. Lord, as we pray Sunday deliverance prayers today, let my dear friend be set free from every evil spirit of anger, from every evil spirit of hurt, from every evil spirit of offense, from every evil spirit of bitterness, from every evil spirit of unforgiveness. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Lord, release the grace that my dear friend who's watching this video will go up to a greater glory. Even as my dear friend releases these things, these heavy weights. Lord, I pray that you will release the grace that when all such times when people would offend my dear friend, when people would hurt my dear friend, when people would betray my dear friend, release the grace that my dear friend who's watching this video will be unaffected. That my dear friend will go on smooth sailing without being affected by it, Lord. And that my dear friend who's watching this video will be able to exercise love, agape love, back to the person who has hurt them. Do this, Lord, for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friend, God is good and He is gracious. He is merciful. He is slow to anger and abounding in love. He doesn't leave you. He doesn't forsake you. And today He has not left you, my dear friend. He is with you and He will be with you through it all.
In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and God keep you. I'll see you tomorrow in the Monday Prophetic Word. God bless you. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.